Good morning in the morning. <laughs> Hi. Hi. We need to put that on a jacket. We need to put that on sweaters. The, the good morning in yes. the morning? Yeah. We can sell some merchandise. <laughs> we could. We are pretty, we're close to being done with this section of the house, the living room. And this video is gonna be all about the details. So, the annoying part. And we're kind of having a hard time over here deciding if we should do either black trims all around there and around the windows or if we should accent with some white because we have white over there and then it's just so it's, it's, it's so difficult yeah and I so far I really like the white it makes it like very makes it very bright and so maybe white accents I think we're gonna go with the white accents for example over there you can see that those beams are already colored in black and yeah like they look good but once you look at this one with the white accents it's it's hard it's just hard to not want to do something like that because it looks very good I'm just gonna get the wood and decide later. Good luck in the hot west door. Thanks, honey. I'm gonna need it. Wow, it's super windy out here today. Ah, this is our dry season. We never have like a proper calm season. It's always extreme weather. We're trying to do a quick stop at a hardware store and today the mission is to get some wood and sandpaper and also some nails so we can start working on the trims. Mission successful. No for the scary part carrying the wood on the roof of a car without a roof rack. And you may be wondering, how do we carry wood on a car without a roof rack? Well, we use a very, very Latin American technique, which is called tie and pray. You tie the wood up there and you pray that that thing doesn't come off. Woo! The wood made it safe and sound back to the farm. What didn't make it safe and sound back to the farm was my phone because for some reason when I was helping to tie the wood on the roof of the car I just forgot my phone here and I just remember when I was driving up and yeah I don't have a phone anymore Woo. Uh. Ah. This is heavy. Finally you are back Yeah, and guess what happened What? Good news or bad news? Or guess who put his phone on the roof of a car and drove? No. And the phone is not there anymore. No. That's me! Really? So I don't have a phone anymore. For real. <laughs> For real. So right now I am filming on Freddy's phone and we are tracking my phone because apparently it's in dead. I thought the car had drove over it. But it looks like somebody found it and the GPS is giving me the location of where the phone is. So we're driving there and trying to see if this person can give the phone back. Oh, this is so nerve. Fingers crossed. So nerve-wracking. I can't believe this. This phone yeah. fell in the middle of the road. Is it still working? Like it survived? It survived. It's, it's got a little cracks on the oh, screen nice. protector. Oh, nice. But it's working. Oh, are you happy? Are you I'm so, so happy that yeah. I have to spend a bunch of money on yeah, buying a new Yeah, a new one, exactly. So I just tried to remove the screen protector and literally the phone is Nothing happened to the phone. The phone Nothing. Is like brand new. Yeah. Only, it's that's, only the protector who broke. But if wow. You guys don't have a screen protector. Yeah. Get, yourself get one. one. <laughs> this phone fell from the roof of the car in the middle. Yeah. Of the while road. driving. While driving. <laughs> wow. And it's it's still there. Oh, I'm so happy for you. Oh. Like so. Whew, now we can start our day. We are back at home. We got it. <laughs> Can't believe there was so much yeah. tension. Like. 
Yeah. It was a, a full adventure to get this phone back, but yeah. we've got it. And now that we're here, it's time to actually get to work and start doing all the trims for our walls. Now the things that we're missing over here are all these trims, we're gonna cover and wrap these beams, these metal beams on wood and we wanna do it on white accents. But we can have a special technique and we're gonna try it out to see if it works. Also we gotta do the trims of the windows all around there and we kinda wanna cover those beams but we wanna use the color of this so we can kinda create an accent up there. And we still have to do some electrical, some boxes, one, two, three more boxes, and get a couch. Yeah. That's it. And a beautiful lamp and a beautiful coffee table. And I think then we're good. <laughs> you want to buy a coffee table? No, build a coffee table. You want to build a couch? No, <laughs> because I, can't, I, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Inspector at work. You can actually do 149 and it's gonna be fine. Raj. Mini, 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 mini. Rodrigo in his element. <laughs> Okay, I'm about to assemble my little painting station. <laughs> because I can't paint outside, it's a little too rainy and too windy. So I'm going to paint the wooden boards inside. They're going to be white. And yeah, I will start now here on the floor. I'm using some of these one by four pieces. I already sealed them. This is in order to have a surface where I can use, put the nails, because I want to use a nail gun in order to give the same look. See over here on this wall, like you don't see any screw holes or nothing like that. And I want to have the same look on the wooden trims that we are placing today. So for that we need this surface, which I am attaching to the metal with some screws. Just so you guys have an idea, this is more or less what we are looking for. We are going with a washed white, wash white, I think that's the name for this color. We basically paint these things on white and then we sand them a little bit to create that pattern that looks like, looks like you see the wood kind of popping out of the white, but it's still slightly covered with the white. We want to do that pattern in the whole house, so all the framing going up all those beams, all those beams, all that stuff going up. We're gonna wrap it on this exact same color so we keep it, we keep that sort of symmetry. I am the muscle today and Freddy is the brain. She is the one in charge of making this thing look beautiful. I hope so. <laughs> I am assembling the stuff together and she is the one that is doing all the painting, all the staining. 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 Here in our new working environment in the shed, this is the newest addition and I'm very happy because it's so much easier doing that standing <laughs> instead of being somewhere on the ground outside. It's very good. We finally have a working bench and we put it here inside of the shed. So now all the little details that we can do outside when it's raining. 
like right now it's a mess like when the wind kind of distributes the rain everywhere it's always a mess when it's windy and rainy at the same time <sighs> no, wow is, honey i think this is how people are made like either you are the, the person for like quick and dirty like you're quick and you're doing a good job but not a perfect job and i am like i'm i it has to be perfect and I, you're, per it, you're a perfectionist yeah and i'm so much slower and all that but i just want to make it right i want to that's why she always gets <laughs> the tedious jobs i 100 percent dislike the tedious jobs like having to stain these pieces and make them look just that perfect that yeah, perfect it's not but i'm so much slower than you are always so much slower i work faster yeah but my jobs never look as good as Fred. We have been working almost all day on this and it's almost there, actually it's not even halfway. We just managed to put a few of the trims and also some of the cover pieces for the metal beams right up there. This is gonna take way longer than I expected. I was expecting like one day work for doing all the trims, but this is definitely gonna take at least two days. Welcome to this your segment, Cooking with Freddy. Tonight... <laughs> <laughs> but what, what do we have on the menu for today, Freddy? We have potatoes in the oven. Some roasted potatoes. And then some like not really Asian vegetables, but it's vegetables with soy sauce and a dip. What do you got on that dip? Mm, basically, it's just yogurt and garlic and salt and pepper and parsley. And that's it, basically. And I'm gonna eat it. Mm -hmm. Bye. Good morning everyone. It's been so crazy. Last night was so windy. Wow. And this morning is also another rainy morning. Super, super windy. I think our dry season, there's a chance that it's over. The only good thing about this crazy weather is that we are blessed with one of the most amazing spectacles of nature, a massive rainbow right outside of our window. First thing when we wake up, we see this and it's just, it just tells us that we are ready to start the day with the right food. I'm back in the shed. I already have my wooden boards over here, which I painted white yesterday. And now I'm going to sand them because we want this dirty white, washed white. I don't know how to call it exactly but this kind of used look white. So I'm going to sand it a little bit and then Rodrigo can go on and put them on the wall. So now, some sanding. I got you coffee! I'm such a lucky girl! Coffee! Coffee, okay, cheers. Thank you so much. Because this morning I had to start without coffee. How's it going? Good. You like it? Like yeah. the. Wait, start the door. I have to say, this mask 
is a game changer for me right now because with the white paint on it on top of the boards it's like so dusty so i'm happy that i have this Delivery. Thank you. I got some work to do. I'm just covering a little weld over there that I didn't paint before. I just had to break the weld. Wow, well, I can I can smell the the paint. It's like yeah, ooh, it's spray paint. Like, ooh, it's, it's, it smells. Yeah, and it's probably not very healthy for. <laughs> the thing is that if I don't paint it with this paint and I use the other one, it's not gonna grip because yeah. the other paint is not. It doesn't have what it takes. Yeah. This one is like for super, super, super heavy duty. This was the funniest face I've seen in a while. <laughs> Why do you paint this one? I don't know, it was laying on the floor. <laughs> I don't think this one we had to paint it. <laughs> this <laughs> one was like over here, was oh, my wow. painting station yesterday where I painted all the boards no, and Rodrigo placed them there. But it was, <laughs> it was there. <laughs> No, this one is too small, honey. The ones that we're using for the covers are these ones, the big ones. Yeah, but See? <laughs> but it was on my painting station. Okay, it's okay. So, we just Thank have... You. Thanks for painting it. <laughs> we just have a spare one. You never know if we... We'll probably have to something else. Could Please use it in the future. We finally have the next batch of these trim pieces all sanded and painted. And now we have to start placing them on the spots where we want them to go. So this one's gonna go right here. Safe and sound. 171 and a half. Since it's raining outside and super windy, we don't wanna risk our wood to get wet and break down so we are currently sharing the workspace in the shed so we just bring our tools in here and do the work that we need to do because inside of the house we don't want we don't want to make a mess again it's so crazy to think about that you used to live in the shed honey we used to cook here as I, well. I know, I know, like this is over there is giving me memories. Like I, I also, <laughs> I was cooking in here for a few months, but you lived in here. I not like, only, this I think was, here, here was your bed, right? In, yeah. in this area. This was the luxurious part. <laughs> yeah, I know, this too. Was, this was the, like the... It was like, already the upgrade, like compared yeah, to the tree house. This was like the apartment compared with the tree house. <laughs> the tree house was like, I don't know, four by four <laughs> square feet uh, like it was so tight i only had space for a bed and a little night table that was yeah. it yeah, okay this was the upgrade but still when you think about it now all the tools and the materials and here was the kitchen here was the bed and you lived in here wow simple life you don't need much yeah. to be happy yeah that's true you said a little bit of love you are a wise man a really wise man such a responsible young man. Uh, the thing is that if we don't seal the back side, it can start creating some sort of mold, mold in the back and that's yeah. gonna expand to the rest of the wood and that's gonna be nasty. Yeah. Okay, so ready. better, always better be safe than sorry. Exactly. <laughs> Spicy. That's what happens when you have the right tools. And Rodrigo, this is Rodrigo's happy face. <laughs> <laughs> happy about this saw. So, so, so happy. Before I used to use a angle saw. I think it's called an angle saw. I don't remember actually. An electrical saw. Just the hand saw. To do these cuts. But now I have this yeah. machine and it's just... This is so smooth. So perfect so and smooth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> no, we all wear teeny tiny little tape. Yeah. We measure. So your hand is seven inches. <laughs> Mine is eight. Nice. So my hand is one inch bigger than yours. Good discovery. <laughs> You're so cute. Can you hold this? Yeah. What is this guy doing over there? That is the question. Let me dance in private. <laughs> you also sing in private. Very beautifully. Hey. Thank you. You're welcome. So we are pretty much done with all these trims all around there and all the metal beams that's all covered. We still can do this section since we have to place tiles on the bottom and that's going to determine the size of that trim over there. But the one that we can do now is the window. So we got two pieces of 140 and two pieces of 150. So these boards are all painted but they need a few minutes to dry, maybe 30 to 45 minutes to be completely dry and ready to sand. And in the meantime, do you want to go get something? Yeah. I know that you are going to be excited to get this. Yeah. You don't know what it is. <laughs> maybe a couch or a lamp. You like this one? Yeah. But it's it's the wrong. We no. need this thing to be on this side. Said why? Or no, actually, no. Never mind. That can be there. It's not this that one looks long. perfect. I mean. Okay, no. This one is not nearly as comfortable yeah. as the other one. But but I mean, it's also comfy. But it's not. But it's more like a sitting sofa, and the other one is more like a watch a movie in the evening sofa. The most important thing of buying a couch is testing it before you buy it if it's comfy or not yeah like you need to know that that's the couch that you want to sit in every day of the rest of your <laughs> i don't know like the future <laughs> like five five years i don't five, know ten, how, i don't know how, how long the couches couch? last I think but more like 15 or 20 you need you need to be sure that that's that's Longer? the place where you're gonna put your butt at the end of the day when you are tired and you know that you're not gonna be you're not gonna hate it we love this one, but it's way too big for our space, so we are definitely not gonna take this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and these are like all. Oh, I think this is the one. Okay, no, this is kind of. Are you happy? Yay! We got a couch! Thanks. This is officially our first couch that we buy for the house. We have a couch, but that one was gifted to yeah. us by Killian Jordan. Yeah. But now, this is the one that we just tested before we Ourself. got it. Yeah, and it's like, it's a big How achievement. How exciting. And what I am personally very happy about is that it comes with the pillows. We officially own a couch. And this is a proof. <laughs> Hello. 
we didn't just come to get a couch we also came to check on the lights we're gonna have in the living room and check this I this is so out. cool <laughs> wow we already decided which ones we're gonna have we already it's ready basically because here and we're gonna have six little those little thingies we're gonna have six of those in the living room and we're gonna have a main chandelier which we still have to figure out how to do <laughs> or what to do yeah we got the white lights on The good news is that our couch is gonna be delivered within the next few days, but in the meantime, we got some some lights to put in our living room. We are still working on the trims for that window over there. Freddy's working on the sanding right now, and once it's ready, we are gonna put them up there. But in the meantime, we need, we need to place some wires. just full of dust but we have one side completely ready these are the little lights that we wanted to install over here you can actually adjust the position of them so you can point where the lights gonna go to and I just found out that these little things are called recessed lights never heard of that thing before but they are mostly used on ceilings so it's a good thing that we're actually using it on it it's looking pretty pretty good Everything is connected, all the wires, I just have to connect everything to the main um, electrical circuit box and also, before I do that, I have to finish that side, another three of these little things right there and one main light over there, which, I mean, we had an idea that we wanted to do, we did in the kitchen, a chandelier like that, but we're still not sure about it. So maybe we're not, we're not gonna do it this time and we're gonna, we're gonna ask you guys for help. So you guys are gonna decide what kind of light we're gonna do over here. Please don't do something crazy. Please don't say something that is pretty impossible to do. Give us something simple, please. What are you doing over there? Are you learning Spanish? Oh. Are you learning Spanish? I'm listening to a Spanish audiobook, and it's, yeah, basically Practicing some Spanish. Qué bueno. Sí. Eres bonita. Oh, gracias. Come here. Tell me all about it. You have to see it. Ooh. You see the little three little things over there? Yeah. Are they already connected? They are like. all wired, but we are still missing to connect everything uh, to, the to the main electrical box. Okay. Ooh, and they are movable. You can move them, yep. Ooh. That's so cool. Okay, Rodrigo and I were just talking about how much we like these, how, how are they called? Bullseye lights? I, I just discovered that they're called recessing, recessing lights. Okay, I never, like... Same, but that's... that's never that never say. heard it, but of course, like we are not native speakers. <laughs> but I was just saying that I think with these lights, it looks so much more modern and I think I would be okay with only having these lights. But a few days ago, we actually were talking about having another chandelier like we have in the kitchen, also for the living room. And now we need some help because we are not sure if we want to have like exactly the same one, like this, like exactly the same, or if we want to do something slightly different. But we're like, we will, we will leave we're, it to you guys. Yeah, we're not sure at all. Please tag in the comments yeah. or uh, I don't know, like <laughs> put a name on Pinterest and just put it in the comments of yeah. whatever ideas yeah. you have in mind. Because our creativity box is kind of empty. It's kind of <laughs> empty right now. Yeah. And since our house is like an open house and we don't have separate rooms, when you enter the house, you would see like, okay, there's one chandelier on the right in the kitchen and the other chandelier on the left. But does it look weird if they are different or? We will leave it know. to you guys. Yeah. So please. Help us. Help us. <laughs> <laughs> Just finished sanding 
these parts. Oh, nice. Now we can continue with the framing for the window. Thank you. I actually need a break from the electrical. It's so... I'm just gonna do the windows. Because actually these three are only for one side, right? Yeah, and there so I have to do the next three side more. and the one in the middle. Ooh, okay. I need so, a break. <laughs> yeah. Now we will continue with the framing for the window. Mister, how do you feel? This is actually this face wow. is just admiring. It changes so much the whole look of that room. Check it out. Ta da! It's super bright right now, actually. But the framing for the window is done. Wow, it's it's ready and yeah. it looks so cute. It's like yeah. a like that farmhouse vibe. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's a it's like a farmhouse. Yeah, I mean, we live in a farm. Yeah. We should turn this into a farm. <laughs> but this house. is not a classic, like classical farmhouse. I should have built a barn instead of a triangle. Yeah, true. Ooh, <laughs> that would have been so cool. You guys Do have no idea how much sweat and tears are there on these walls. This has been <laughs> so much work yeah, I, to I, get it done. I don't know how many hours we prepared the wood, we <sighs> cut it, we assembled. We did the right thing. Yeah. I'm super happy. Every time I look at it, it's just getting better and better. Now with the accents right around the doors, the trims, you see that part over there? It just, it accents the whole thing. The black frame, it's been accented with the white frame. You see that? Oh, I'm inspired. I'm on fire, baby. I just finished placing all the accents, you can see up there, we have a full square on the ceiling with all that framing, the trims, accent pieces, ah, looking good, but now we gotta continue, or I gotta continue with the wiring, all the electrical for the next three little lights on this side, and also do all the wiring all the way to the electrical box, which is right behind that wall. It's gonna take me a few hours.
it's already midnight and I just finished all the wiring all the connections for the lights all the connections for the plugs everything it's it's already assembled wired connected all these all those plugs in there all those lights you know this is the moment of the truth I'm just gonna put the breaker on let's see we touch the metal okay safe and sound and now we test It works! Oh. Okay, off. And then on. Sick! Oh, these are... These lights look so nice right now. Okay, now let's put this ones off. And that one also works! I'm so proud of doing all all this wiring job. It's so messy and complicated and if I mess something, I have to go and just disconnect everything and do it all over again. But I got it right the first time, everything is working perfectly fine. Look at those lights, look at those lights. Oh, I'm so happy. I am so, so happy, but I'm also exhausted. So. I'll see you guys in the morning. Our couch was just delivered and check this. Looks so homey. Know this whole corner. It actually looks like a living room. First test. Ah, oh, this is the best. Come here. I see a couch. No, you don't. Hello, <laughs> Come here. Wow. Freddy has actually not seen the lights yet. She was asleep last night when I finished it. And now we have a couch as well. So right now I'm, I'm actually extra amazed. The fact that it smells like coming home to a home cooked meal. It smells so good in here. What are you I'm doing? cooking. Yeah, but what are you doing? I'm doing some pasta. <gasps> you wanna do the honors? Come here. Wait, 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 wait. Baby, this is extremely comfy. <laughs> We're turning this into a home. Wow. It's going from a house to a home. I still have to kind of see the. <laughs> wow. Okay, ready? Yeah, wait. Oh. I love it. Oh. Wow. No, I'm, I'm sorry that I wear my sunglasses, but I don't know where the others are. Oh. Wow, this spot is the best. It's so comfy. Baby, they have a couch. I want to fall asleep here. They have a couch, yeah. I want to be sleeping here. <laughs> Baby, we have a couch. Now, we've got a couch. We got a pretty much finished living room. Ooh. And. We're loving it. Wow. It's so cozy. Like the white and all the yeah. colors, yeah, it I matches do. perfectly. I have to say that it's the best feeling to come home after running some errands and going to the supermarket and running around in town for quite a long time and just coming home, being able to sit down on a super comfy couch. Amazing. I love it. Like it looks so good. The lights are super, super beautiful. So yeah. Now it really feels, it really feels like a home. Rodrigo is pretending to be asleep, which is not true. So Rodrigo and I are going to enjoy our first evening here on the couch. We were thinking about watching a nice movie. We already prepared some tea, so we're just going to relax here. We actually already spent a couple of hours <laughs> relaxing here. It's so, so comfy and we it's are dangerously comfy yeah like we will just it just wants you to make it makes you want to stay here all day yeah uh. 
I think I already found my new favorite spot. Earlier today I told Rodrigo that so far the kitchen was my absolute favorite, but now it is not anymore the kitchen. It's the living room. It is the living room. Now we can and have friends over. Yeah, now we can invite friends. We still have to of course like do all the the decoration and a, and a coffee table. We have a couch. That's what yeah. that's what matters. Exactly, and it's extremely comfy, and I think now we have to choose a movie, and we're going to end the evening. Please subscribe. Thank you so much for the support, guys. We love you so much, and we will see you in the next video. <laughs> okay, over and out.